Lemmy's World of Glasgow. Jacqueline McCafferty. Can you fucking believe it? We heard that Marty Pell was going to be up at the Virgin, up next to the Royal Concert Hall. He's going to be appearing there singing a few songs from his solo album and signing them and all that. Marty Pell's my fucking hero. Cause see me, I lost three years of my life on heroin and another five years on a methadone programme that was meant to get us off it. See Marty Pell, see him, Marty Pell was my inspiration. See if he could get through it, I could get through it. So I went up six o'clock in the morning, waited outside. I'm one of the first people in there, right? Go to about seven and eight, nine and that. Cunt was going to be appearing at one, right? There's time they cries, right? I thought, right, they can't obviously fucking respect some the way I do. But a few people started turning up, started getting a bit busy and all that, right? A few people standing next to us going like, oh, is that my auntie Pearl appearing and all that? Oh, my Pearl Fanny has all up here, like, wet, 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 not. I just thought, you don't know him like I know him, right? Gets to one o'clock. Marty Pellwood, he appears for the first floor window you know, out where we meet and everything. I was screaming at the top of my voice, I was like, Marty, Marty, I fucking love you, man. He sung three songs, right? One's a pure beautiful song, right? It was a swing song, right? I don't really name it. The other two were wet, wet, wet songs, right? They were good night, girl. That's really special to me. And wishing I was lucky. And I used to listen to that all the time when I was going through my recovery. Because I was wishing I was lucky. I was wishing I was one of the people who could steer clear of heroin. But heroin caught me. I was caught like a fucking rabbit in the headlights. But anyway, right, he sung these songs, right, I was I had tears rolling down my face, man. I've never heard anything so beautiful. Marty Pellow's one of the most underrated singers, underrated performers of all time. That love is all around. That one that got to number one, that was about 17 weeks. That was at the number one spot. And there's no way that would have got to number one spot if it wasn't for Marty singing it. So see any time the band members bitch about him, they should just fucking remember they'd be nowhere if it wasn't for Marty. Anyway, it came to the time that Marty went back downstairs and you could go up and take your album to him. You could take your soul album to him and get it signed and that. I was just, I was ready for this business myself, just shouting at us like, Marty Pell, he's my hero, man. Go to the album, walked up to him, eventually got up to him, couldn't believe it. I was free away from him, right? And he's chanting to some bird having a laugh and I just thought, can look at him, man. Lassie was just pure, beautiful skin and all that. Pure never saw a bit of heroin in her life. I just thought, you don't fucking know him, man. You don't know him. Two people away, one person away, me next. Eventually, person walks away, pure smiling. He's like, how you doing? I went, all right, Marty. Marty, my name's Jacqueline McCaffrey. I swear to God, you don't know how much an inspiration you're to me, mate. I could tell it was just pure gobsmacked. Must be amazing just being an inspiration for so many people, for so many junkies all around the world trying to go through recovery. I said, Marty, I've been through it all, mate. I've been to fucking hell and back. I told him, I says, Marty, I lost three years of my life on heroin. And I lost another five years on a fucking methadone programme that was meant to get his off it. Then he started speaking a bit quiet, he was like, ah well, it's a time that I'd rather forget and all that, so what would you like me to sign on the album and all that? I says, eh, just sign, t- just write, to Jacqueline, we go through it, the girl. And he starts writing it down for us and all that, and I'm, I was pure appreciating it because we weren't the girl. I wasn't his bird or anything like that, but you didn't mind saying that we got through it the girl. I thought that was such a beautiful, lovely gesture to me. And I said, so what was it anyway, Marty? The paper's all lying, bullshit and all that. I know that you were a junkie. I know that you were a junkie. I know they were only lying about that. But what was it? Were you tooting it? He's like, uh, eh, what? I'm like, were you tooting it or were you sticking it in a joint? Or was it the whole thing? Were you jagging? He's like, like I said, Jackie, you know, I just want to leave that sort of stuff in the past. I was like, what, are you ashamed of it, eh? Kind of looks at us and that, looks behind us to the, or his other cunts are just pure looking on, he looks a wee bit of his security cunt to the side, I'm like, what the fuck's this all about? He says, well to be honest Jackie, you know, it isn't something to be proud of, so I, I'm a bit ashamed of it. I was like, what, so you're ashamed of me, eh? He was like, no, I'm not ashamed of you, and I'm like, no, you're, that's what you're saying. Because I'm not ashamed that it's part of my fucking life, mate. He's like, I didn't, I didn't say that, I says, well, you did say it. He says, I didn't say that, Jackie, you did. I says, my name's no Jackie. My name's Jacqueline Marty, all right? He's like, ah, look, Jackie, Jacqueline, there's other people waiting here. I don't want to talk about my past. I was like, I will get me to fuck, eh, Marty? 
Oh, you're all of you fucking fans haven't got a clue about you. I'm one of the few fucking cunts you get, and you'll get me chucked out of you. You're a junkie, Marty. Go fucking frog march out of there. I was like, never forget who you are, Marty. You're a junkie. You can never fucking stop being a junkie. It fucking takes one to know, man. Can't just fucking ding his ears and moves like the dolly bird behind us. Got up the fucking road. Stuck his wee fucking poxy CD on. Listen to it. Couldn't stand listening to him in fucking 10 seconds. His voice is just fuck all what it used to be. Cause you know what? He was better off with a fucking smack.